Damaris is also another street girl. Before she came here, she lived in Kibera, one of our biggest shanty villages in Nairobi. We don't have electricity in, in, in our houses. No roads. There's no running water, there's, um, you know, there's open sewage. They are indeed in bad condition. We've worked in Kibera and lived on the edge of the slum. We really see our babies here as a product of poverty. There are a lot of orphans. Coming from moms who have illness, but they don't have any, any, they don't have any systems to go through. But as people just like you and I, just trying to make, you know, get through every day, you know, watch their kids, wash their clothes. Yeah, this is my room. <laughs> See, the rooms are squeezed. You can't yeah. just put another bed here. Yeah. It's big. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Just... <laughs> on the on the floor. <laughs> yeah. People sometimes visit the slums and say, "Ah, oh, that's too hard. I don't really want to see this." What's too hard about seeing how people live? Yes, I don't know my work here, but it's uh, disorganized. <laughs> <laughs> See the guys over there, they are doing the gabbling. <laughs> In up country, I was living with my mother. My mother passed away. When my mother died, I was small. I was living with my father only. When we were going to school, we were not having any shoes. We were going without shoes. They bring me here. I get lost. You wear a house to stay and many things. I thank God for bringing me here. Good up. So we have our intensive care babies here. These are going to be our smallest babies. And these are our babies who might be more medically unstable that we would want to take care of and be able to see. You can see by our glass, we can watch these babies all the time. This is our isolation unit. We keep them here so that we can make sure that they don't have any communicable diseases in the sense of something that they could transmit to the other babies. That's the core of this ministry. That's the vision of this ministry is to rescue babies. Uh, this is the boys' room. It is exactly the same as the other one. The desk and there I can just <laughs> you see the mess we do. <laughs> That's how we live. <laughs> I enjoy seeing them growing up, especially remembering how they came to me and now they are walking their happy children. I praise God for that. We are speaking about when you do not do what you are taught to do. The other day I said, we have been given a very beautiful school, and God has given us a very beautiful crop. Praise God. Amen. What has it doing? Amen. We have come from a very poor building, and God has raised our standards. Mama and I are dealing with more than 50 teenagers. And you know even one teenager is a problem. You can imagine dealing with more than 50 teenagers. And you cannot prevent them from uh, what is it called? You cannot prevent them from peer pressure. 